So I made the worst mistake of my life. I allowed my boyfriend to tattoo with a branding iron on my ass. What? <laughs> what? And then the guy disappears. So the video is over on my Instagram under Hollywood Hamilton, Hollywood Hamilton on Instagram. This girl, Carol, if I can, let me just take the story to, to progress the story along a little bit. Let me just move it along. Were you drunk? I didn't know what I was doing. Please don't. Please don't embarrass me uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm not. Look, you sent us the video. How more embarrassing can you get? All right. I'm looking. Okay. okay, that's her right there. Yeah, I see. And watch this. Oh. Oh. Ah. What happened was yeah. he posted it then. he took. That's his video. He posted he it? He posted it. She immediately threatened him with an attorney. Right. He's not answering any of phone calls, so she sent an email because right. he's not calling her anymore, not texting back anymore. She sent him an email threatening that he's, she's going to sue him unless he takes down the video immediately. Before he took down the video, she sent us the video, and here we are. We've been going out for months. I thought he was really cool. He convinced me to do this thing, and I just... After only, oh after, after only a month? Yeah, a month, honey? You're kidding. Yeah. I thought he was really cool. Like, he wanted to commemorate our love. Okay, the whole thing just sounds messy, Carol. I gotta tell you. Dating wow. a guy for a month. Sure, brand me. And this isn't the type of thing where it's a tattoo where you can have it removed. Absolutely This is not. a scar. You have put yes. a scar of another man's symbol on your the butt. I didn't call to get ridiculed, okay? I, 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 called I know. Because I, I gotcha. I called because I want to know why he stopped seeing me. Uh, it it's could not be. right. It, it possibly could be because you're an idiot. <laughs> Sean, that's that is so mean. I'm not the smartest decision to make. Yes, I agree with okay. you. Okay. What's this guy's name? Johnny. Johnny. Okay. And we're calling his cell phone number? What's the number that you have in front that you gave producer Eric? Who, what number is this? His work number? Is this, What number is this? This is his personal cell phone number. He was a really great boyfriend for, for a month. Four weeks? Yeah, 30 days, yeah. How many hours is that? Oh, gosh, I'm just going to have to get the calculator for that. All right, we're going to call him. We're going to find out what happened to him, why, when, how, where, and why. You know, what's the deal? Has he done this with other women before? Is he some sort of crazy man? Is he... I would probably say all of the above at okay. this point. All right, here we go. Let's find out. So there's actually something else I need to tell you guys. Okay, here we go. God, what? All what? Right. Before we call Johnny, what? So I'm 21 and he's... 44. What? Okay, okay. 21. Let's go. Well, hello, my explorers. Welcome again to another episode on Rowena Explores with a Z. On today's video, we're going to look into another War of the Roses on 103.5 KTU with Hollywood Hamilton and the lovely Marie. This one is human branding. Oh my gosh. Carol, what were you thinking? 21, naive. You have no sense. Have a 44-year-old guy brand your butt. Oh my gosh, that should hurt so bad. But she's not even concerned about the branding because she seems like she's in love with this guy. She was the, He was the best boyfriend ever. She just wanted to know what happened, why he stopped calling. But this is crazy. You want to take down the video that he posted. But anyway... Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened because I am interested in what this guy is up to. All right, so let's continue to watch. Hello. Hi, I'm calling for Johnny. Yeah. Johnny, how are you? My name is Marie. Uh, and if I could just have uh, a minute of your time, I, I work for a company called redroses.com and we have a dozen. Okay, he hung up. He hung up. Okay. He hung up. Yeah. Uh, don't call this number again. Just, what? No, don't call this number again. I don't know who you are. Don't call me. But if I could just have... He uh, hung up. He hung up. What's your problem, honey? Hey. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's my problem? 
problem. What's your problem? All right, everyone's total. John? J- Johnny, listen to me. I'm a radio personality. Hey, how do you know my name? So listen, I'm a radio personality in New York City on WKT Radio and iHeartMedia. Uh, I've got somebody on the phone right now by the name of Carol. Do not hang up. We have a video in our possession. Carol, you there, honey? I'm here. Okay, Carol, you want to help us out here a little bit? You want to let uh, Johnny know the what's what's going on? You know what you did, Johnny. I'm sorry for branding you. I mean, what do you want from me? What happened? That's my personal property. That don't belong to you. That video now belongs to us. We purchased it from Carol. It's on my site now, on my Instagram, and you can't do anything about it. So you don't own any video. You might have taken the video at one time, but you released the video to Carol. Sorry. I sent her an email. I apologize. Is this something? I said, Joe. Is this something that you practice often with younger girls? Is this something that? It, what's the deal with you, Johnny? I practice human branding. It is a fetish, if you will. We were dating a month. I got her consent. I don't see what the And then you is left here. her? What? what? And then you left her? This human is human branding? In the 13 and a half, 14 years we've been doing War of the Roses, this is the sickest call ever. Ever. You're a predator, man. You are a sick. Well, she's 21. It's like still. Yeah, he is a predator in a way. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're, you're a real sick weirdo. Car- Carol, best thing that ever happened to you. Best thing that ever happened to you. Getting away from this guy. Carol, last words. What, what do you want to say to him? Go ahead. Last words. I just want to say that what you're doing is wrong and you're taking advantage of people who are vulnerable and in love with you. And I just. I wish you would stop. in love with this guy? What was I, that? I, I, I don't I, I, get it. I, I, I don't understand it. But okay. love is love, as they say. Oh, my gosh. Carol. Carol, Carol, Carol. Why would you have this guy do something like this to you? Branding. Human branding. When I think about human branding, I'm thinking about slavery. I'm thinking about cattle. I, I mean cattle is not human but that come to mind right because that's what it feels like you're a cattle but human branding could be gang related human branding could also be tribal because it's like showing personal like you belong to me you belong to this tribe you belong to my group is show you know you're showing you're showing that you belong to something a relationship you know, so when he did the branding, he said he had a fetish. It's a branding fetish. Oh my gosh, did you see that heart? She just cringed. It was burned so bad. I mean, because he just stick it into her butt cheeks. I know, I've been branded before. If you want to call it branding, yes. I've been branded by the oven. I've been branded by pots, hot stove. Oh my gosh, so I know how it feels. I know how it feels to get burned and it takes a while to heal because you know it just messed up the skin but after a while it do go away but in her case that branding that she did that she received that seems like it's gonna be permanent because it seemed like it went down into the skin oh my goodness but then again he said he received her consent. She's 21 years old. She said, okay, it was consented and he did his video. So who am I to, to say what it is? Who am I to say what's right, what's wrong? It could be this B, BDSM kind of thing. It's a, he said it's a fetish. So if he find people who volunteer their body to be branded, then kudos to him. You know, I'm not, if that's what they want to do, fine. So I'm not against, I'm not for, if that's his thing, that's his thing. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But for me, no. I just stick with the little piercing I have on my ears. Because I don't like pain and I know that hurts. She's not going to be able to sit on her butt cheek for a, for a while. I mean, I don't know how long she's um she's been, she had it or it's been going on. But she said it's only six weeks. Four weeks one month of relationship and the way how she speaks about this guy seems like she's in love still in love with him because of her advice to him like don't hurt people that loves you and stuff like that but i don't know what are your thoughts what do you think about this episode would you let someone brand you 
maybe not branding but it's the same thing like tattoos but kind of more permanent because you cannot laser it off although sometimes you may try with the branding but uh, cover it up with something but would you have someone brand you or put a tattoo or people do that they tattoo other people's names on their bodies but would you do that let me know leave a comment under the comment section and let me know what you think about this human branding um, this is Rowena Explores with another episode. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and like, share, and leave me your comment. Until next time, this is Rowena Explores signing off. Take care, guys. Bye.